Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. This is part two of my setup process for October. If you're like, wait a minute, part two, what are you talking about? Where's part one? Part one is already up on my YouTube channel and there I show you how I set up for the month of October in my catch-all planner. This one, this video here is for my social media planner. And I split these up into two, two videos because if not, it was gonna be a super, super long video. So I thought it would be best if I did two videos. Now here, this is my cat or my social media planner where I plan out YouTube videos and I plan out stuff for Instagram. The monthly section of this planner is where I put my YouTube plans. So what videos are going to post when. And what I do is I take some sticky notes and I start kind of pre-planning out the month seeing what videos I'm going to post when. I'm also looking at my work schedule because that that plays a big role. If I am picking up extra um extra days and I work let's say four or five days this week not likely I'm gonna post two videos you know what I mean the goal is to at least post one so if that happens I can always you know move the video to a, a different week or move it to a different month or whatever so here is just the pre-planning process and you'll see me I, this is why I love using sticky notes and I recommend sticky notes and I highly 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 recommend pre-planning but you'll see me move some sticky notes around because things as you start to lay things out you start to realize, okay, wait a minute, this doesn't work here, or this video would go better on this week. You know what I mean? Like things start to change, and so it's easier to move a sticky note than it is a sticker. We all know that, right? <laughs> I'm not teaching you anything here you don't know. Um, but I do recommend using sticky notes to pre-plan out your month and, and to get it all planned out and ready to go. And the other reason why I recommend it, and um, this is obviously very, very important, is because this helps you figure out where you're going to place your stickers. That's the most important part here, right, is sticker placement. So once I get my videos placed out, then I can see, okay, I can decorate a little bit more on this side or um, I, I need more functional stickers for, you know, where I'm going to, um, on what days I'm going to be posting the YouTube videos. So it just kind of, it plays as a guide for me. At least that's how my head works. All right, pre-planning is done, so now it's time to start decorating. It's October, so obviously we're doing a fun Halloween spread, and I love these witches upside down in these pots. I think it's so stinking cute, so I started with that. Um, with the sticky notes, I sometimes I take them off and I, I do the whole spread. Sometimes I leave them on and I plan around them until I find a sticker that I want to replace those sticky notes with. It just kind of depends. Quick note on the sticky note. I don't know if I did it here. I can't tell. I can't see very well, but um, just from past experience, always, always, always date your sticky notes. I, one time in nursing school, I didn't date my sticky notes. I had pulled them off. I ended up, I don't know, I walked away or something, got distracted. I don't know what happened, but I come back and I remember it was like I had to start from scratch because I didn't date the sticky notes and I didn't remember what goes where and all that. I mean, it was an absolute disaster. So just a just a little tip from my mistake is to make sure you date your sticky notes even if you only have a few sticky notes on your spread uh, just so if you you know if you have to step away and take care of the kids or take the dog outside or you know maybe even go to work and come back the next day and finish the spread I don't know things happen date your sticky notes it, it is so helpful
since I used the Halloween is Magical sticker at the top and it has the star like confetti pattern on it, I wanted to add some more of those stars throughout the, the spread just to kind of tie everything in together. Quick tip, if you're new to planning, if you've been here for a while, you've heard me say this. Um, see that Apple iTunes card that I have? I've had this for years. I use this and I go over any clear sticker. It doesn't just have to be like the fun little confetti ones, but any clear sticker you have. If you take something and you kind of go over it, that helps take some of that glare out. Now there's the glare here because I have a big ring light over top of it and it's shining down on it but it helps take the glare on and also takes out that like, I don't know, foggy look that's underneath of the clear stickers, you know what I mean? It kind of blends it more in with the paper. So um, you can take a disc off your planner and use that. You can use a washi tape roll. You can use, I don't know, just something with kind of, I don't wanna say a sharp edge, but you know what I mean? Like a, an edge where you can actually flatten that sticker out. That is really, really helpful. And then you'll see here in just a minute, I decided to go with some cute little star stickers to note my YouTube videos and that kind of ties all of that in together. So what I'm doing here, like I said, I'm using these little star stickers to note the YouTube videos. So I'm putting the star stickers down first, putting the sticky notes back, and then I'll come back in, take my pen, and I start writing in the YouTube video that's going to post on that day. And I'll be honest with you, it's only a few days after I created this spread and I'm already making changes. Um, I ended up picking up a couple of extra days of work, so my YouTube schedule has changed some. Um, and that happens. It's okay whenever that happens. What I will do is I will maybe add another sticker on the day that the video is actually going to post and then I usually like to make those little curly arrows with my pen um, if you guys ever look at my spreads I, I promise there's one at least one on every spread but I like to make those cute little curly arrows and then I just make a note of like okay so for example let's say on the fifth that first one right there underneath of Halloween is magical let's say on the fifth I was supposed to to post that um, happy planner haul and I ended up actually switching it with the ninth, and I made a little curly line underneath of that, and I had wrote switch with the ninth. Sometimes I'll write like didn't post or reschedule for next month, and then the next month I can reschedule that. Now one of the things that I tend to do if I'm rescheduling videos is I will take a, a large sticky note and I will write that stuff down and then I stick it on the monthly section of the next month and then when I sit down to plan for that month, like say I have some stuff that I want to flip over into November, when I sit down to plan in November, I already have a sticky note in there that already has some notes for things that I want to plan for for that month. I actually don't, I don't know if you caught it in the beginning, there was a couple of sticky notes that I pulled off. One was purple, one was yellow, and I had some notes for some video ideas for the month of October, already wrote down and kind of um, kind of thought about those things in, ahead of time. So that's what I do is I take a big sticky note if I have ideas. I also have a list of ideas in my planner and I will go off of that list sometimes. Um, ideas just, they start flowing sometimes in a sticky note's the best way to, to tackle that. Take a sticky note and stick it in that monthly section that you want to post that video on. So that's kind of my process for that. All right, now the monthly spread is done and I'll show you a full thing of it too here at the end of the this video. But now what we're gonna do is create, um, oh, I put these the wrong video here. No, I didn't. This is for my catch-all planner. I actually did not film my weekly social media spread. So never mind. don't pay attention to me, I'm being crazy. All right, so this is actually the weekly spread for my catch-all planner. And I found these really cute SVG files on Oh, where did I get these from? I don't remember. I will find out where I got them from and I will link them down below so you guys can, maybe it was the paper shop. 
I don't remember. I will find them though and I will link them down below. But they're SVG files. I put them into Cricut Design Space and I cut them out using my Cricut. But if you don't have a Cricut, you could totally cut these out. The, the ones with the spider webs might be a little bit harder to cut out, but you absolutely could. You could take like an X-Acto knife or something and cut these out if you wanted to. But I cut these out using my Cricut. I cut them out on just cardstock paper. And then the ones at the top that say um, Boo, you've got the, the bat on it. And the one that says Eek, those are to note my work schedule. And I'm just literally taking a regular glue stick whenever I put those down. And I glue those down onto the page. For the Boo to You and the So Spooky sticker, so the Boo to You is the one on the left, the So so Spooky sticker is the one on the right. I haven't glued this down yet. You'll see me do that here in just a little bit. I uh, kind of left them there where I thought I wanted them to go, and then as I started to decorate, I kind of moved them around a little bit. So any kind of gluing or anything, if you're doing that inside of your planner, unless you're like dead set, like this is exactly where this is going to go. I just like to leave those elements lay there. And then once I figure out where the rest of my stickers are going to go, then I go back in at the end and glue, glue those things down. So the box that I put on Thursday up in the like tan sec section. So the top boxes, I hope that makes sense. Um, that one is to note that my son has a doctor's appointment and then I just like to create some other boxes. I always say you're never going to see me do a spread without a box in it. I am, I call myself the box lady. I love box stickers. They're, they're, you know, a little decorative, but also super functional. And I love that. So I put a few other box stickers throughout this spread as well, but I put that one specifically in the top section of the planner because that up there, the way my brain works is that top tan section, those blank boxes, that is my priorities of the day. So that is like the most important things. This is what's happening. That's where my work schedule is, doctor's appointments, you know, etc. And then the lined part at the bottom, all the lines, this is where I can make my to-do list or checklist. Or I think Monday I actually wrote a little blurb about kind of resting from the weekend of camping. You know what I mean? Monday we just hung out and chilled and I didn't really, didn't really do much other than clean up the camping supplies. So sometimes I do a little bit of like, that's kind of like memory keeping. So sometimes I do that. Sometimes I make a checklist. Sometimes I decorate more with stickers, especially on the days that I work because I work 12 hour shifts. So I typically don't, other than like, you know, getting my son's stuff ready for school and things like that. I really don't do a whole lot on the days that I work as far as big, long checklists.
one of the things that I do whenever I do my weekly spreads is I pre-plan and I've talked about this earlier I talk about this in previous videos like I said I highly recommend pre-planning I actually didn't know for this week because I knew what days I worked and I knew I had my son's doctor's appointment and that was really it as far as like the main things that I have to plan for now my like I said my work schedule did change I ended up picking up two more days of the week um, so that kind of changes things a little bit, but for the most part, I knew exactly what was happening this week, so I didn't actually pre-plan, but typically I do. Typically I will take, um, there's actually free pre-planning printables I have down in the description box. You guys can download those for a classic size happy planner and a big, um, so those are down there if you guys want to download those for free. And I just kind of pre-plan out my week. I do it with social media, I do it with my catch-all planner, I, um, will do it whenever I do my fitness stuff. I kind of look and see, okay, what's my work schedule? When am I going to work out? That kind of thing. So again, I, I highly recommend pre-planning. You don't have to do it. I know a lot of planner babes that don't, and that's totally fine, but it's what works for me. But this week in particular, I did not pre-plan. Like I said, I only had a couple of things going on that were set in stone, so I wasn't really worried about it as far as that goes. Right, here's where I started to kind of fill a few things in At the top here I'm putting in my work schedule the little box on Tuesday um, the little one at the top there above the checklist I just wrote today and then the box down at the bottom that says focus this is where I made a little reminder to get all of my stuff ready for work all of my son's stuff ready for school so like our clothes laid out for packing lunches our bags etc so I made a little note about that and then I added a sticker on to Thursday. And, and this is kind of my thing with without pre-planning is things pop up as I'm planning. And this happens even if I pre-plan. But usually when I pre-plan, I give myself that time to brainstorm and think about the things that I need to do. But um, I mean, it's okay in this situation. It didn't hurt anything. Sometimes I do have to remove stickers though and create more space for writing. But in this case, it worked out great. So I added another sticker for something that I remembered that I needed to do on Thursday. And then Tuesday and Friday, I have those checklist stickers and I ended up making checklists not on here, but I did make some checklists. This box that I'm putting down on Monday, I made a note that my priority of the day was to clean up all of the stuff from camping which um, I did get cleaned up, thank goodness. Other than the tent and stuff, you guys, I still have to get that out. It's been raining, so I haven't been able to. It actually rained while we were camping, so I still have to get that out and set it up and get the tent cleaned out and dried out. So that still needs to happen, but I'll get to it. 
Um, so that's really it. That's my weekly spread. And if you're gluing anything inside of your planner, seriously, leave it set out for a few hours. Make sure everything's fully dry so your pages don't get stuck together. Here again is, is um, the monthly spread that I created earlier with you guys in my social media planner. And then I actually show you the monthly spread of my catch-all planner too if you want to check it out before you go watch the video um, part one of setting up for October. And I use some stamping, so here's that spread. And you guys can see what stamps and, and stuff that I used. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.